Hey, it's Frank Aichi with Patrick Gorsey. We've just finished a workshop where we've built a demonstration showing machine learning on some Raspberry Pis, pumping it into a blockchain contract, using the APIs out of that blockchain contract, then to see it coming out into some HTML pages. And what we've actually got is on those two Raspberry Pis, we're actually running some TensorFlow machine learning to actually look at what's coming off the camera determining the objects. Pretending one of those uh, pies is a factory, registering what's been made in the factory in the blockchain contract, and then pretending the shop is reselling it over and over again, so we can then query the blockchain to see the life cycle of who's owned this uh, capability or product or object. So, um, We've actually got it running in the Oracle Blockchain Cloud Service, which you can see running here. Um, we're using the following bit of blockchain software, sorry, the following Go contract to do that. You can see that we're um, creating a product, we're querying the product, able to change the product owner and then get the history for the product. And then, like I said, we're able to then look at the blockchain service and see how many blocks are being written at any point in time. So enough from me. Patrick, can you show me what we've got here? Indeed, Franco. So as explained, we've got two Raspberry Pis. We've got them here in their clear cases. You can see a little bit more detail of them. Both have a small button and both have a camera attached to them. The, um, oh, they're being charged by a battery pack and they're both going to a single speaker. Um, we have one set up here as a factory and one as a shop so we can determine the difference and we'll run through them and then as you've also shown we have a computer which is going to show the data being produced as well as we'll hear from the speaker what's being uh, created as well and last of all we have a phone which should get an SMS message and we'll take you to that when that pops up as well and that's just here. Okay, so Patrick, let's see it working. Indeed. So let's go to the factory, and we're going to press the button. And as we press the button, the screen tells us now we've got a button pressed. And it's going to read the file. Let's come back. And we should hear carefully out of the speaker. You have made a coffee mug. It tells us we've now created a coffee mug, and I should get a message any moment now telling me the same. Cool, it's letting you know Mega Maker Administrator, the coffee mug has been made. So what, let's pretend now we're actually in the shop selling it. Thank you Franco. So we'll go to the shop, we press the camera, we see that now we've pressed, the button's been pressed, And we will notice now, coffee mug. Franco, you are about to sell a coffee mug. Cool. It should tell us who the new owner is. Hey, Franco, the new owner now is Stuart Hoot. So, Stuart Hoot. Okay, let's change ownership again, Patrick. Okay. Hey, Franco, you are about to sell a coffee mug. Hey Franco, the new owner now is Harry Francesco. Cool. Well, let's do one more just for the hell of it. For sure. Hey Franco, you are about to sell a coffee mug. Hey Franco, the new owner now is Emilio Woods. Okay, so you've got this other little web page you can show us. Indeed, Franco. Let me bring it up. So here, if I refresh this page, we have a list of all the activity we've done. And now, because we know it was a coffee mug, I'm going to put it out to bring it back quicker. I'll type in coffee mug. We can see all coffee mugs which we've uh, made today uh, are there. We can see that the last one here is now a coffee mug actually shows owned by Amelia Woods who was the last person to uh, 
become the owner. So we're going to go to get history and look at this particular mug in its entire history. And we can see that the mug went from the owner Franco uh, to Stuart Hoot to Harry Francesco and then Amelia Woods. Great, Patrick. So you've just shown us what's possible with machine learning, Raspberry Pis and blockchain of them being able to see it through that nice HTML page running on FN projects. Thank you, Patrick, for showing us this capability.